In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about crank bars, which you can clearly see in this animation. Those red color bars, which are commonly known as bent up bars. I am also going to discuss the purpose of providing these bent up bars in rectangular beams. So before watching the tutorial, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. Now let's start with our today's topic. Well, what are crank bars? Crank bars are defined as those bars which can resist a negative bending moment or simply hogging moment. Now the question arises here, why do we use crank bars in beams? For illustration, let's consider a rectangular beam carrying some load over its span. Due to this loading, the span of the beam will be subjected to bending moment and it will be deflected in such a shape as I have shown in this diagram. The beam will tend to bend in a way that the maximum bending moment will be at the center of the span. There will be positive bending moment at the center of the beam and negative moments or simply hogging moments at both the supports. So to counter this positive moment, we provide reinforcement bars at the bottom of the beam to resist the tensile stresses and to counter these negative moments, we provide the reinforcement bars at the top here. Now we don't want to place these bars separately and we want to get rid of these separate bars. So we place cranked bars here, which are actually bent up bars and which resist the hogging at supports. We don't place reinforcement here at bottom since there is no positive moment. And we allow these bars to bend like this in columns. And this length is called development length, which I will explain in my coming tutorials. To make it clear for you, I will illustrate these things with a diagram. Here I have shown a cross section of the beam and these are the two support columns. This length is called development length and is denoted by LD. And this length is called crank length and it can be calculated by using the formula 0.42D in which D is equal to this capital D which is the depth of beam minus clear cover for top plus bottom. The minimum clear cover for beams should be 25 mm as per IS 456-2000. So for beams the clear cover ranges from 25 mm to 35 mm depending upon the environmental conditions present during the structure's surface life. The 25 mm apply to a dry climate and the 35 mm to humid conditions. And for slabs the minimum clear cover for slabs should be 20 mm. So the clear cover for slabs ranges from 20 to 30 mm depending on environmental conditions present during the structure's service life. Now the advantages of crank bars in beams and slabs. To resist the hogging moment that is negative bending moment which I already discussed. To resist the shear force which is higher at the supports. And to reduce the reinforcement hence making the structure economical. So this was all for today. For much more informative and interesting content, subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates in future. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook with the links given in description. We'll catch you up soon. Thank you.